Hello, okay, so starting a really quick new vlog here. Um, so if you've been watching the moving vlogs, um, either the one that's just come out or the next one, you'll see that we're like in the process of getting a cat and like we're replying and stuff. They're ready. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Um, yeah, we've had a message to say they're ours. Get ourselves a litter tray, some litter, a cat carrier, and we can get them. So, <laughs> I don't need to get that sorted. Um, I've got. A, I'm going to make a list of stuff we need to buy, and we're going to head over to Pets at Home. I thought I'd start a video now um, to show the process, and then, yeah, show the cats. <laughs> so yeah, um, we ended up finding two cats that needed a home. They're around two years old. Their names are Jeff and Jafar, and they came from a hoarding situation. Um, the only kind of thing we're gonna have to work on with them is they are quite protective over food because of that. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the other cats that were in the situation did unfortunately die of starvation. So, they are quite protective over their food but they're they're bonded together they are brothers i mean they're going to be brothers <laughs> when they're here so yeah they're they're already together and bonded and yeah okay so i don't know if you can hear me because i'm wearing a mask but we're going into pets at home to get some goodies okay so we've got our pets at home stuff in the back we're going to take what we can into the house leave the carriers in the car to sort out we're picking them up at six o'clock yeah. <laughs> so exciting yeah, yeah. really exciting it's half four now so we've got an hour and a half and it's about a 50 minute drive so okay so any second now we're gonna leave and like go get our cats um so here are some of the stuff that we've like got ready so we already have this bed uh we've known we've wanted cats for ages so we've got this We've got a scratching pole there. From Pets at Home, just Jay picked up this book. Um, he's going to read it to learn all about understanding and caring for your pet cat, which is very cute, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got this poopy scoopy yeah. thing. I've got a couple of collars for them. I don't know if they'll wear collars or if they'll be comfortable with that, but I thought it was good to have some in case. And then we've got just a small collection of toys. Everything I've read online says like the first day, like don't overwhelm them with toys, but we thought we'd just get a couple of options for them. So they're there. And then we have got other stuff arriving during the week. We did not expect this process to go so quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> in a bit. Um, we've got a litter box here. Um, it was a high back one, so hopefully the poopy doesn't go over it. We will eventually put it more up into the corner, but we need to find a different place to put the hoover. Um, I've laid out this mat here and put just two water bowls on it. And the one thing we've been told about them is they are quite protective over food, um, just because of the situation they've come from. So we've got the two food bowls here with two pouches ready, so like we can show them like we're providing the food for you. Uh, we just thought that would be a decent idea. When we first get them until they're comfortable, the living room door will be shut. We're just going to be keeping them in the living room for a little while until they feel like safe and secure. So, yeah. And then, if we head upstairs, I might as well show you everything now. Um, in the bathroom, we're not sure if we're going to keep this here, but it seemed like a good idea and now we're unsure. We've got like a little like cat litter box that's got like a lid and a flap but we've put that next to the toilet for now because they're gonna see us like pee and poo in here like oh the lights <laughs> um so why shouldn't they then coming into the bedroom we've already got this little cat bed here and then obviously the bed yes they will be allowed on the bed um Jay's unsure if he wants them to be able to like sleep with us overnight on the bed yet but I know Jay and I know that the moment we get them he'll be fine with it because he's the right little softy and a bit of a pushover. Up to the office this is where we work most of the day so we've got this little cat bed in this unit here 
and then we're pretty sure they're gonna want to cloy him but we haven't put them up yet just in case they're not so good at it we've got these little climbing things to go on the wall along with some hammock beds and we were originally thinking of putting them on this wall here like going over jay's desk but i think what we're really thinking is this wall here so like there's the window having it like going up this wall here so they can also go in the window but yeah that's something we'll sort out at a later date <laughs> yeah and it, it's a saturday today which means we've got the rest of this evening uh we're picking them up at six so we should be back here by seven and then tomorrow is sunday so i'll be in all day jay might go out for a walk with his friends but they're gonna have company all day and then we work from home anyway so we'll have company all week but obviously we can't give them our full full attention but we're very excited aren't we yeah yeah we are we are 10 minutes away how are you feeling excited we do do you have any thoughts? I'm not sure which plane I'm going to be in. Ah. Or stick to me. <laughs> Let Jay concentrate on driving. Yeah. It feels weird. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna, this is going to change our lives, isn't it? Yeah. And probably having a pet that pets that will be properly responsible. Yeah. Like, every time we want to do something, like go on holiday, go away for the weekend, have people over, like, these cats are going to be our first priority. Yeah. Like. Okay, so I'm now in the back of the car. I'm being a little bit quieter because I've got one cat carrier here and one cat carrier here. Um, and we're on our way taking them home. Uh, we've got 27 minutes to the journey left. Jeff seems very settled. I've checked on him, he's just curled up at the back. Jafar on the other hand, we've had a few meows off of him. Um, he seems happy enough, I think he's done a poo. And after the poo, there's a few meows, but we told him it was okay and that he is on his way home. And he has quietened down again now, so hopefully he's settled in. But yeah, it's really exciting. in his thing it's all over his legs it looks like a bit of diarrhea So J Jay needs to go to the toilet, but they're both watching him leave the room. Oh, they're inquisitive. Oh, go on, hurry up then. Come on, you can go out there once we've set all a bit more. Come on. Stirring now, but they're so 
and it looks like he's wanting to explore so we're gonna open the door to the kitchen and just put them their pouch of food each day in if Jafar follows great if not then Jeff will be able to explore and that way at least it's like something interesting so yeah we need to keep this door open don't we Water in between you just in case either of you need it, that's just water that one is. Okay, so we're chilling in the living room for a bit. Both cats are currently hiding under the bed, um, which is okay, like they've found a spot they feel comfortable and they're both under there. Um, like it's probably quite overwhelming for them to be in a new place. Um, they seem to both really like the bed down here so what we're hoping is if we chill down here they'll like come down and go to bed. They haven't properly figured out where the rest of the like cat beds are so um, this is like the bed that they're currently using. Um, but yeah they're just under the bed for now. We've got the final of Bake Off to watch as we haven't watched it yet so we're gonna do that and but yeah hopefully they'll be all right. So this is Jeff and we've just given him a toy because he was like very playful in his mood rolling around and stuff and he seems to be enjoying it. Okay, so I've just come upstairs to put any electronics and valuables away. They're both currently under the bed, but I'm not I'm not worried about Jafar. Um He's gone back under the bed, but every time he's going in like a box of clothes that we've got under there and he's like getting in the box of clothes and curling up and going to sleep. So I'm not worried. Um and with how Jeff's acting, I'm not worried about him going under there. But he just doesn't look very comfy. Um, he keeps picking like random patches of carpet to lie on and just like being all hunched up there. But like his fur's not up. He's not showing any signs of aggression, any signs of like being scared. So I don't know. Like he's come out a few times, come downstairs, checked on us, and gone back up. So I don't think he's worried. Uh, we followed him up the one time and he wanted a bit of a play, but yeah, um, we're just going to leave him to it. Um, hopefully everything will be alright overnight. The reason we're putting the electronics away is just, we have been told they're litter trained and they have both done poos and wheeze in the litter tray downstairs. They still haven't figured out the litter tray in the bathroom, we don't think. Um, but yeah, they've both done poos and wheeze in the litter tray downstairs, but... We don't know if all the lights are off and we're in the bedroom, if they're going to go down. So just in case they have any accidents or pee or poo anywhere they shouldn't, we just want to put all of our electronics away so nothing's going to get on them. So, yeah. Hello. So, good morning. It is the next day. Um, just thought I'd grab the camera. I'm assuming they're still going to be in the exact same spaces they have been. Um... So I woke up about 20 to 9 and gave them their food and they're- Oh, are you moving because I'm talking? Okay, they've now moved. Jafar's been asleep on the bed, like, all morning, but he's now moved back to his box under the bed. Um, but yeah, it went really well. Um, last night, they both stayed in the bedroom the whole night, except to, like, to go to the toilet and get food. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so Jay started sneezing, so now they're both under the bed. Um, which is okay, like, it's okay that they feel comfortable under there because 
it's good they find somewhere they feel comfortable um but yeah it was really cute this morning Jafar like we got him to come on the bed Jafar was lying on the bed for like at least an hour it's just super cute um Jeff loves fuss but on his own terms like he will come and headbutt you when he wants fuss but then he's happy to chill him by himself the rest of the time but yeah so far it's really fun like getting to know them and like figuring out like their personalities so there's Jeff hiding under the bed but he's so cute still he is he's so cute hello hello so it's two days later now i don't think we did any recording yesterday um just thought we'd do a quick update things have been rocky would you say like mm, not super rocky just there were points where we weren't sure if they were okay yeah like they've been very outspoken and confident and then spent a full day hiding and then like They've just been quite mixed, haven't they? They're obviously yeah. still trying to get used to it. But uh, we're shutting the living room again today because we're waiting for the Virgin Media to be installed. Um, and they've both reacted really well. Like, we're both just chilling in here with them and look at them. So, here's Jay. And Jafar is just fast asleep on Jay. He's like, he looks so comfy. He didn't like Jay's belly, which is shocking. Most cats love your belly, don't yeah, they? Yeah, cats didn't really like it. But you didn't want to lie oh, on your belly. I never lay down on that cat. Oh, yeah, That's maybe. when I'm sitting up, because he, like, sticks out when I'm sitting up, doesn't it? Yeah, but he was like, no, thank you. And then Jeff is over here in the basket, fast asleep as well. He's so cute. Oh, and yesterday we managed to get a collar on Jafar. You can see he looks very cute in it. Jeff, not so much. Um, he did not like the collar and did not want it on. So we took it off. Um, I'm going to leave him another few days and see if he'll have it on. I know not all cats will wear collars and a lot of cats like get them off quickly. Um, right now they are both tiny 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 like they're they're pretty underweight both of them um just because the situation they're in um so we kind of want a collar on them in case they do somehow get outside like we've been so careful with like not opening the windows fully and like you know like not opening the doors if they're in the room like we've been really careful but if one of them did get out I feel like right now they could be mistaken for a stray um, but with a collar on at least like you know they're owned and we need to get the microchips changed over to our address because it's still at the rescue address so yeah we just we'd ideally have them wearing collars so like if they did ever get out you'd know So I just thought I'd do a bit of a cat update. Here's Jafar. Oh, is, is he going to bed? Yeah, so it's really late right now. Uh, we've just had to wake Jafar up to give him a tablet. The first few days we we're really worried about a really snotty nose and sneezing. Um, and the vet said there is a cat cold um, and has prescribed him antibiotics for it. He's now taken three and a half days of them, so he's only got one and a half days left. And it seems to have cleared up really well, but over the course of only these few days, he's learned very well how to spit them out. So we're having a little bit of trouble. We're having to do it when he's very sleepy and tired so that he takes them. <laughs> If I take you upstairs, we'll find Jeff. Jeff has come out of his shell so much these last couple of days. And right now, like, I'm doing stuff in the office still. And Jeff's on Jay's chair. You're helping, aren't you? Yeah, are you helping? You don't want fuss, though. No. He's like, I'll just help, thank you. 
yeah Jeff has been loving it up here he's actually been sleeping on my chair but because I'm using the office tonight he's like gone to Jay's but yeah you're doing very well with Jeff we have really proud of him these last couple of days he even slept on the bed a bit today whilst Jay was in it chilling which like he hasn't done yet like he started sleeping on the bed like two days ago but only whilst we weren't there like he'd let us give him some fuss but yeah today he even like Jay was in bed watching TV and he stayed fast asleep on the bed with him which is really cute we, we're very proud we are we're very proud so apologies about the dehumidifier on in the background but I just wanted to show Jeff's progress this is him at 1am in the morning coming out of his shell Imagine him acting like this all year. Yeah. Okay, so hello. It has now been just over a month since we got the cats and they're settling in so well. Um, I've basically just started editing this video and I've realised since about the third or fourth day we haven't actually sat down and spoken and talked about the cats. It's mainly just been random clips of them doing cute things so I thought now would be a really good time to do a little bit of an overview. They have settled in amazingly Jafar has really come out of his shell by about the second week Jafar was if you can hear that that's them literally running around playing with each other that started happening about a week and a half ago they started actually playing with each other which is so amazing like we don't know if they've ever had the chance to do that before had the space had the like environment so it's really cute they're it's really cute except for the fact a lot of the times they decide to do it around 3am in the morning except for that it's so cute um yeah Jafar started coming out of his shell around two weeks in he is a cheeky chappy he will ask you for anything he wants his food he'll get in any cupboard you open he's just really lovely yeah so Jay's got some stuff to add about Jafar as well about it was bef between a week and two weeks in we noticed him making a funny noise um, and we didn't know what it was, did we? Yeah. Um, and then Jeff, Jeff started making the noise as well. And after a bit of Googling, it's, it's, is it chirping or trilling? Yeah, chirping. They, they make that noise at each other, which is like a come follow me and they'll like make it when they're playing. It's so cute. Yeah. Um, for the first week, Jafar, because obviously I'm pretty tall and pretty wide. I noticed when I was coming down the stairs, if Jafar was like at the bottom of the stairs, he'd, he'd be really scared. But about a week in, he's kind of, I think he's like totally used to me now. Um, Jeff is still kind of in that stage, like, um, yeah. Jeff's taking a little bit longer to come around, isn't he? I was going to say, so with Jeff, he's really out of his shell, like, he'll show his personality, but everything you can do with Jafar, you can do with Jeff, but only on Jeff's terms. When Jeff wants fuss, Jeff wants fuss. When Jeff wants play, Jeff wants play. But if you're like just wanting, especially you, if you you go up to fuss him and he hasn't initiated fuss, he doesn't want no, fuss. No. Um, Whereas Jafar, you can you can pick him up and like, there's like a sixty percent chance he'll be like, yeah, this is fine, and just lie down in your arms. Yeah. Um, and like I feel like me and Jeff have got a bit closer than Jay and Jeff because I spend quite a few late nights up but I was try tend to get a lot more work done overnight and when he was still coming out of his shell about you know the two to three week mark where but Jafar was out of his shell but Jeff, Jeff was still wasn't getting there. he'd come up to the office overnight whilst I was in there and I feel like that really 
helped. Jeff's doing really good as well. He's it's so cute the way they play. Yeah. But, uh, there are going to be videos of them playing in this, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he seems to just, he's taking a little bit longer than Jafar, but everything online says it can take up to two months for them to completely settle and come out of their shell. So we're not worried. He's got such a personality. He's very sassy, I would oh, say. Oh, yes, he is. He's, he's very sassy. If you're giving him fuss and he doesn't want it, he'll like, he won't just move away. He'll like use his paw to like push your hand yeah, away. Yeah, he's not moving. If he decides he doesn't want fuss, he puts his paw on your hand and just pushes you. And he's like, that's enough, thank you. <laughs> like, it's so cute. Yeah, he's sassy. But yeah, that that's basically the overview. Like, it's going really well. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, I feel like a lot of this video is just showing highlights. Like, there's been... There's been issues, there's been problems, there really has. And we'll go over that at the end. I think we'll do a little bit of like a what we've learned and... The lasagna incident. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm going to put the camera on charge and we're going to make a cat tree up because they've been coming out of their shells so much in about a week and a half ago, they started playing and really wanting to just play with each other. We've brought them a cat tree and it's arrived this morning. So we're going to go put that up. We'll come back once it's up and end the video with kind of the things that haven't gone so well and how we've learned and adapted from them. Mm, yeah. yeah. Cool. What's this? What's this? It's for you. Whoa. Oh, is he really going to jump in there? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was a big jump, wasn't it? But what is this? Yeah, maybe we'll put them on it too high up. Is this? Oh yeah. So, what about in here? Oh, does that look cozy? No, it probably no. felt too much like going in his carrier. Maybe we'll both go to their food. <laughs> Okay, so as you're seeing, the cats love it. <laughs> <laughs> Typical cats. They'll come around to it eventually, we hope. Yeah, they're, they're both ran to their food, so like, hopefully they'll come and explore in a minute. But um, a month and one day ago, we uh, brought some cats home. They've settled in really well. They're, they're still finding their feet here, but like, they are settling in. So now it's time to go over the hurdles and the uh, the few problems that they've caused. Yeah. So... When we first got them, Jafar was sneezing a lot. Yeah, we had to take him to the vet. Well, we were taking them to the vet anyway to get a proper good checkup. Yes, yeah, so they got a full checkup. They're giving a clean bit of health, except for Jafar had a little cat cold. So he got some antibiotics. Yeah. And, and he, <laughs> he learned very quickly how to spit them out. Leave them in his mouth. For the whole time we were like trying to rub his throat to get him to swallow them and spit them out. It took that was three fun, days. Yeah. yeah. It was only it was five only, days. Yeah, yeah, it was only five days. It was only two days that we had the real problems for. It was Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but that seems to have all cleared up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's that. There is... Jeff's a little scared when Jay runs down the stairs. It's, yeah, like... Jafar took about a week to kind of get used to my size. And now he's like completely conf and comfortable when I get close to him. Jeff is still a little bit skittish, especially if he doesn't notice me. If I'm like, I'm kind of near him and he doesn't know that I'm there until I'm quite close, he'll run a mile. Um, sometimes he'll kind of, if, if I'm standing up, and even if he sees me coming, he'll kind of bolt a little bit. He'll bolt a little bit and then sit down and turn oh, around and look, look at me like, what were you doing? Yeah, like I'm not that scared. He's not that scared. It's just like I think in the moment he doesn't want to be like close. Yeah. So do you want to tell the lasagna situation? Yes. So about a week. We've probably had them about a week and a half. Oh, oh, oh he's going for it. Is he? We'll, we'll carry on talking. We probably had them about a week and a half, and and Jeff started figuring out that he could get on the kitchen counters. We hadn't considered that at all because we're idiots, and I'd left a lasagna tray unwashed, and it had onion in it. So we came down at about 2 a.m. to find. Are we just what are we just watching? No, no, sorry. We, can we came out at about 2 a.m. to find Jeff there licking the lasagna tray, and obviously it had onion in it with chunks of onion. We so, didn't know if you'd ate Yeah, we, or not. we knew that onion was toxic for dogs, so I quickly googled cat toxic onion. Turns out it's very, very toxic for cats. 
So we were super worried that he'd eaten some. So we ended up having to spend the rest of the night awake. So we spent two hours like worrying, like, is he going to be all right? And it had oh, is it half yeah, an hour alarm? Half an hour alarm. So she got up, then half an hour later I got up, then half an hour she got up. Just to make sure he hadn't been sick or did a diarrhea. Because um, if so, we didn't. If so, if so, we'd have called the emergency vets. Um, but he was perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, he was he fine. He just scared us to death, but he was perfectly fine. But yeah, I think the next day it was fine, so we didn't need to worry, but it was such a like scare that now we make sure that the kitchen surfaces are always clean. Yeah, we do They're all actually the exploring time. the cap tree also quite like. Then with Jeff we had a bit of a problem with his collar. It was it wasn't a real problem, so I initially put it on Jeff and Jafar literally like two days after we got them. And Jeff just couldn't handle it, he couldn't deal with it. So I took He stayed under the bed and he was scratching the whole he was probably under the bed for like a good five hours. Yeah. So I took it off him because it, it was really distressing him. And about a week and a half later, I was like, I need to try and get it on him. Um, so I did. And it took a few treats <laughs> to get it there. But I got it on, it on him. He sulked for a bit, didn't he? He sulked. But he sulked for about two hours and then he came back, back out from under the bed and wanted to fuss. But it was very much the case of... We needed to let him sulk, and that was quite difficult for yeah. us, wasn't it? Um, it's coming over to you. Oh, don't scare him. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good example, actually. Like, he was coming up to me to, like, look what was in my glass. I leant over, and he, like... Too quickly. Yeah, he ran to the other end of the room. So it's not like he, like, instantly wanted to be back under the bed. He's just ran off a few but he wanted to away. be. He wanted to, like, put a little bit of distance between us. What? We've got some plants that aren't cat safe. Yeah. And the only <laughs> the only plant that they're interested in eating is well, that one. The thing is like they've not been interested in cat in plants at all. They haven't tried to eat any, they haven't tried to do anything. So I was like, it's no problem. So I left one in the bedroom and it's on the windowsill in the bedroom. And what must have happened is as because Jafar loves going in the windowsill. Yeah, he does. He's knocked a leaf off of it. A dead leaf, it like dried up. Well, I reckon he dropped as he went past, a leaf has dropped off of it mm. and shriveled up and then he's found it and he's playing with it, so that's scared yeah. us. Yeah, because last night, basically, we, we found he had a little leaf in his mouth. I was like, what are you eating there? And he dropped it. I picked it up and it was one of these leaves from the the tree that's toxic to cats. And like, he hadn't ate any of it, but we don't know if he tried to chew it. And I also couldn't find online if it was still toxic to them once it had dried up. So yeah, we had another few hours of needing to watch him. <laughs> yeah, so then the only other thing that we've really had is I did have quite a bad scratch off of Jeff on my arm and my neck. Now, neither of them have shown any aggression at all, but they do use their claws to claw him and just to do stuff and their claws are still very sharp. What we eventually want is to be able, if the cats are in the living room and someone's at the door, pick them up, person comes in, they go back down. And we tried that. And Jafar doesn't seem bothered, you don't even need to pick Jafar up if he's in the window, he just stays in the window. But Jeff, I picked him up, it was taking quite a while for Jay to get in the door and it was really noisy. Like I don't think Jay realised how noisy he was being and Jeff was getting really scared. So I was trying to hold on to him and comfort him, but he just got really scared. He climbed up to my neck and then jumped off my shoulder, head footed the door on his way down and ran off and like hid under the bed. And although that is bad and we don't want that to happen, we want them to know like they're okay, they're okay in their arms. He only stayed under the bed for like 20 to 30 minutes and then came back out for us. So that for us shows he was really scared. Like he was really scared. He didn't know what was going on. But it, he only took a little bit of time to cool down and then he felt safe with us again. So I think that was, it was a bad thing. But yeah. it's something we've learned from like, even if like shit goes down they trust us yeah, at least yeah, yeah. enough to know we're there for them. And like him being so scared made us feel worried that he would regress a few days, but he didn't, and that was a relief. Yeah, but I think I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't really had, really had any major concerns. <laughs> Nothing major. It's just the little things like Jafar likes going in the shower after it's been used. Oh yeah. Jeff likes washing me when I'm on the toilet. It's just cats being weird, isn't it? Yeah, just like cat behaviour, but it's just the behaviours we've, ha we've had to learn, and obviously we're adapting to them. 
um, and they're adapting to us. But yeah. overall, it's going really well, it and is. we love them so much. And they'll be regulars, featured regularly on the channel, won't they? Oh yes, of course. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a like if you'd like to. Subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.